In this video, I am going to tell some interesting facts about the father of modern epidemiology. John Snow was a British physician who is considered as one of the founders of epidemiology for his work identifying the source of a cholera outbreak in 1854. John Snow was born into a rebellious family in 1813 and was graduated from University of London in 1844. He did his first research with arsenic for preservation of human bodies, which was later stopped due to toxicity developed among medical students. During his discovery of cholera, it was assumed that cholera was airborne disease. However, John Snow did not accept the miasma or bad air theory, arguing that in fact cholera entered the body through mouth. He published his ideas in an essay on the mode of communication of cholera in 1849 itself. A few years later, Snow was able to prove his theory in dramatic circumstances. In August 1854, a cholera outbreak occurred in Soho. After careful investigation, including plotting cases of cholera on a map of the area, Snow was able to identify a water pump in Broad Street, which is now called as Broadwick Street, as the source of the disease. He then removed the handle of the pump, and cases of cholera immediately began to diminish. However, John Snow's derm theory of disease, that is, the disease transmission by water, has not been accepted until the 1860s. The most important thing about this discovery is that he has discovered this role of water in transmission of cholera nearly half a century before all the pathogens of these diseases has been discovered and in fact by the act of providing clean water even the disease has been controlled another surprising fact about his discovery is 10 days after the cholera discovery william budd proposed almost the same theory with the fungal origin for cholera during his time there was scientific rivalry between william budd and william fur even today the place where he removed the handle of the pump is preserved and there is a memorial for John Snow near to the hand pump and John Snow is celebrated as father of modern epidemiology. When it comes to his personal life, he was unmarried, teetotaler and he was taking only the vegetite. even he was not taking any of the animal product and he consumes only boiled water. But in his last few years of life, he had renal issues and he thought that because of his vegetarian diet and being a teetotaler, he developed this disease conditions. He started consuming little animal products and a small amount of wine. But otherwise, majority of his life, he was a teetotaler following vegan diet. The other interesting fact about John Snow is he was a practicing anesthesiologist and how he pioneered many things in the field of epidemiology, he also pioneered in the field of anesthesia by testing the effects of controlled doses of ether and chloroform on animals and on humans. He made those drugs safer and more effective. In 1953, that is nearly one year before his landmark discovery of cholera being transmitted by water, he was responsible responsible for giving chloroform to Queen Victoria at the birth of her son Leopold and performed the same task in 1857 when her daughter Beatrice was born. So I said he finished his medicine in 1844 and this was happening in 1857. So he was practicing medicine for about 13 years. The story of John Snow is, is not only great but also very short. It ended very soon. That is, he got affected with stroke in 1858 and he died out of that illness on June 16, 1858. But even today, in public health, the highest awards medals are given in the name of John Snow. As long as public health survives, as long as medicine survives, as long as science survives, John Snow will be remembered. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it to your friends. Thanks again.